I just got done doing a 40 minute cardio workout. Cardio has never been my strong suit. I didn't grow up playing sports. In fact, I almost failed PE. I got a D, which really was shocking to my dad. He didn't understand how I could almost fail physical education, but I really didn't feel like I belonged when it came to sports because there were so many people out there who were better than me and I didn't want to get made fun of. And so I just decided not to do anything instead of doing something and looking stupid. And that really played out to be how I operated in life moving forward into my adult life. And so for me now, it's still a battle. It's a battle doing things that make me feel uncomfortable, doing things that don't really come natural but that's where the feeling of accomplishment happens because if everything was easy there would be no satisfaction no feeling of victory and so even though i struggled today to get up get moving and get this workout done because i was dreading it i still got it done and that is something that i have chosen to embrace this year that i picked a word that was going to be meaningful and was going to be something that pushed me throughout 2018 and that word is finished. And so even though I had to push pause twice today and even though I felt defeated at times because I thought about when I first started my first round of ADD obsession, when I was part of the test group uh, at the end of the summer, you know, I thought, I think I did this better then, but you know what? It doesn't matter how I did things before, whether I did it better or whether I did it worse. All that matters is that I'm present right here in this moment. And so that's what I did is I pushed through. And something that I thought was interesting that I shared with my group today was the fact that Autumn Calabrese, who is the creator of 80 Day Obsession, her sister, Callie, who is part of the, the cast um, of 80 Day Obsession, shared today on her Instagram that she too never was a fan of cardio and that she stressed herself out for weeks in advance regarding today's workout, the cardio core, because she was afraid she was not going to make it through. She was afraid she was going to throw up. But you know what? When I was watching her on that screen, the day that it was being filmed live and today, I thought she crushed it. And so you never know what people's struggle is, but you also never know how strong you are until you're forced to do it because of the fact that she was filming it live and there was all of us coaches who were part of the test group uh, and a film crew filming her, you know, doing this workout that was stressing her out leading up to it and that she was afraid she couldn't do, she pushed through it because there was no other option. And that's so true of so many things that so many people don't realize how strong they are until they're forced into it. And so for me, I just encourage everybody to do their best, that focus on being present and giving your all right now. Doesn't matter how good or bad you did it in the past, all that matters is right now and giving your 100%. And I know with my struggles with my health and the things that I've been figuring out about my body and, and my abilities that my 100% today is totally different than it was six years ago or 10 years ago or even six months ago. But all I can do is give my 100% now and that's what I did. So looking back, I feel like I'm really starting over now because of all the health issues that I have been dealing with. But you know what? The thing is, is I'm still here. And one of my best friends who was also in the test group with me, she um, and I were kind of at the same point weight wise before we started the test group. And you know, she finished the program strong just like I did, but she lost 20 pounds and I only lost four pounds. Of course, I figured out what my issues were and it was, um, you know, inflammation and it's in, due to food allergies and intolerances, which now moving forward, I am able to apply and I'm having a lot more success already. I've already dropped six pounds. I'm feeling very confident, but she um, has been sharing her journey as she has felt reinvigorated on her health and fitness journey and she went live on her Instagram today sharing her workout and somebody pinpointed pointed and targeted her by being really negative saying you know oh it looks like you've gained weight and and that is the one thing is that as coaches, as people that uh, are sharing our fitness and health journey, it's not about perfection. And I don't really know that many people who are 100% spot on. Uh, we aren't proclaiming that we're perfect. We're just here on this journey and there's going to be ups and downs. And I know with Christina, she's traveled a lot. Um, she uh, has indulged in things more the second round of ADD obsession than she did in the first round. But that doesn't mean that the program stopped working. It didn't mean that she's not capable of getting great results. And honestly, her changes are, are very slight. So the fact that somebody pinpointed that was kind of like, really? But 
what I feel like is that I've had a lot of stumbling blocks. I've had a lot of obstacles. I've made a lot of mistakes. I've fallen off the wagon. I've gotten caught up in emotional eating. I've gotten caught up in getting into that lazy mindset I, like I had before. And like I said, we don't proclaim to be perfect or without absent uh, or absent of struggle. We're human. But the fact is that in the past, when I would face a roadblock and I didn't have support, I didn't have something to look forward to do next, I would just fall off track and then have to start from all over again and and get my mindset back and get everything else going. But now, because of what we're doing, we have that support. There's always something in the pipeline. Like I know for a fact that after I finish 80 Day Obsession, we have a brand new program coming out that I've already committed to do. And so I already have something to look forward to. And so that's what the difference is, is that we're not perfect. We're, our lives aren't absent of struggles or obstacles or you know, uh, mistakes or, or failures. But the thing is, we're always gonna keep going because we always have something in the pipeline and we always have that support to p help us pick ourselves back up and move forward. And so if that's what you're looking for, if you're looking for somebody to support you, to help you and to love on you where you're at and help you see a future of where you can go if you continue on your path, that's what we're here to provide. We're not here to provide perfection or nitpicking or um, you know, policing you on your goals, but here to just encourage you and provide a loving, supportive environment to help you thrive. And really to all those people out there who criticize other people, you know, really that's a reflection on you and the things that you feel inadequate or um, upset about in your life. And, I, and I've come to realize that because of everything that I have learned about myself, about humans, about, you know, digging into personal development. And if it weren't for getting started on my health and fitness journey and my coach helping me six years ago, I would have never understood that. And I would have continued to take those types of things personally instead of keep persevering and pursuing my goals despite what other people say or think or feel or act or do to me. So anyways, I hope you've had a great Wednesday and if you haven't gotten up and got moving, do so. It's It was 19 degrees or I think 18 degrees when I woke up this morning in my office right now, it's 30 degrees, but one way to warm yourself up is to work out.